so that uh, that song, Let's Go Crazy, uh, sounds just like that. It sounds like this crazy rock funk thing from the 80s. Um, and it's got, you know, the signature print stamp on it of like funk, but with rock guitar. And so, I mean, for me, and for a lot of guitar players, it's like the dream, right? Because um, we all love playing funk, we all love, you know, doing the like, you know... All doing that type of stuff, but getting to do that plus rock guitar is like, you know, a bit of both worlds that I really enjoy, and I'm assuming you do too, because that's probably why you're here. Um, and uh, the song kind of goes through a few different things. It goes through a lot of different rock riffs, and, um, you know, when you think of like rock riff masters you think of you know somebody like Tony Iommi or Slash or something like this um people who like are known for coming up with awesome riffs and I think this one is pretty underrated as far as riffs go because it's a pretty catchy one um and it's something that you you hear when you hear the song but the guitars are mixed so well that they don't stand out like guitar they just fit right in as part of the song which is where it should be you know I mean guitar it's one thing if you're in like a Steve Vai type thing where the guitar is like the highlight, but um, Prince's voice and the song is the highlight. And that, you know, is usually a mark of a really great artist because it's about the song. It's about, you know, getting the entire image across rather than just one instrument. Um, so the guitar, although uh, it fits sort of seamlessly and almost goes on, flies under the radar almost, um, it's got some really cool stuff happening in it. Uh, and then there's a solo as well, which you know, uh, you can't go get overlooked because Prince was just a ripping uh, guitar soloist. So we're going to do the riffs. Um, I'll show you all the different kinds of like little moves he's doing. There's a lot of blues based stuff in here. So if you're a blues player, this should feel pretty natural. And then the uh, solo, um, while impressive and uh, sort of iconic, not that difficult. So uh, shortly you will have all the parts to this song. So don't go anywhere. 